Hey YouTube, hope you guys are doing good. In this video, we are gonna make this sculpture right here. Stay tuned, buckle up, get some snacks and let's start the video. Happy New Year guys, uh, welcome back and today we are gonna make this sculpture and before we uh, before I start narrating what I'm actually doing, I hope you guys are doing well um, and I hope this new year brings everything you ever wanted. Uh, stay happy, stay creating and uh, yeah, everything will be great. So I decided to post every week once, you know, once every week and try to get 51 videos or 52, I guess. Uh, and this year that's my goal I just want to do YouTube um, consistently and yeah let's see how that goes <laughs> it's easy to say it isn't it but uh, over here let's get back into the video so I started off with an EP curve as you can see and uh, I just went to a side profile just made a random shape and now I'm just going in the perspective using all its points editing the curve and then I just made a random shape out of it right it's as simple as that then I clicked on the circle uh, once you have your circle I would uh, recommend you to align it to one of the yeah one of the ends of the EP curve uh, that way we're gonna extrude it out along it right that's how the sculpture is made you can do it any shape you want right and just play around with it I think you'll really like it so once that's done just delete history so that um, it's disconnected from your curve now that you have this what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna delete those edges and now it's just a cube running all around so I'm gonna select a few faces on top and bottom I'm gonna go to transform component and then just scale it on the z-axis right so once that is done you can see that now it's thin I just um, did a harden edge so that all the shading issues go away and now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add loops and I'm gonna edit loop them right so you can just add loops and then hit edit loop and that should average out all the loops but uh, as you can see I just added all the loops there and now I'm just uh, double clicking the loops and then just uh, hitting edit edge loop and you can see on the right side where all the data is being saved you can see that edit loops are going on so I'm doing it for every single and you can see that it's gonna you know normalize everything keep everything clean and that's what we are aiming for over here and once uh, it looks good uh, pretty much then you can start closing up these uh, places so close them remove unnecessary loops right I'm gonna scale this because I just want the tip to be a little you know a little sharp so scale it on both axes and that's done and now if you want to give thickness to your uh, model right well, all you need to do is select those faces and then you can transform component. So I just fixed a few loops, go there, transform component. And now you can see that I am selecting different, different faces, hitting transform component and giving it thickness. That's the best way to give it. Right. Once your model has thickness, then if you hit, uh, then you can bevel it out, which I'm going to do now, like so. So select all the edges and then just hit a bevel. I'm gonna add one segment in and there you go and now when you hit three voila your sculpture is ready uh, you can go ahead and work on this more and stuff right you can give it more shape you can give it more thickness try to play with uh, different angles and moods depending upon whatever you want to do and it will turn out good but this is mine it's pretty simple I had a few references I was just inspired by that I just wanted to uh, start off this new year with something different you know something clean I will be making a few sculptures as well uh, I'll be going ahead and making more of these because I just loved the end product and I want to add a few to my portfolio and my Instagram but yeah there you go let's go into blender okay so now that we are in blender um, I have already set it up but I am going to show you what I did uh, it's not 
it's not gonna be too hard, it's very simple. I just bought it into Blender, I added in camera. You can see that I have placed my camera. I just made a square all around it, right? So I have the background and that's pretty much it. And you can split the window like this. Just go to a corner of the window when your cursor changes, you can just split it. But that's what I'm showing here. So hold, hold down Z, you can go into rendered mode. And over here you can see that I'm just showing you some materials. I have only two materials. One is the sculpture itself, which is chrome, and the base, which is the cylinder. That's pretty much it. Uh, so here is the lighting setup. You can add how many of the lights you want. Don't overdo it. I just added a bunch of uh, white lights and I'm showing you here that this is the second light from this angle. And you can see that it reflects on my model, right? So just place your lights, increase the brightness, place it around your model, make sure that you know your model is getting light from every direction. That's pretty much what I did, right? So that is what I was trying. And now you can see that um, everything is good. Th those were basically my lighting setup. Once that's done, right? If you want, uh, you can go ahead and make your model spin, which I did, uh, as you can see. Now from one, there you go. It's just, just a turntable. So select your model, change it, do a 360, and that's it. Uh, you should be good. But once, uh, once that's done, and I'm showing you, Cycles Renderer, keep it simple, go to Film, you can set the contrast here. I always like to go to medium high contrast. So you can play around with that, don't overdo that as well, because it'll take up a lot of darkness. But the resolution is uh, just Insta's resolution, but into two. And let's give it a quick render. And that is how it looks, pretty simple. It's denoising now. And once that's done, let's go to the final output. Ta-da! So I really hope you guys like this. Uh, I did change the color of the lights and you can see that happening in the video right about now. And you, you, can, you can play around with it. There you go, it changes to blue and then pink, right? Just play with uh, colors, play with shapes, and I really hope you like this video. Have a great year, and I'll see you next time. Love you guys. Bye-bye.